Dude, you're gross. Thanks. Hey. <laughs> hey. What up? Hey guys, we're um, oh. we're we're back. Settle on in with your hot cocoa and your coffees and your grand old uh, Earl Greys. Your grundle. Yeah, and your grundle. Over your grundle. Gr no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes, we'll repay the favor somehow, but be careful. All right. There should be a real guard somewhere around here. You interrupted my introduction. Let's just say. I don't know. Hey, how's it going? Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Go back to uh, what show are we on? It's, uh, power sack. Oh god, Power Sack has been like the show's alternate name since like 20. Power Sack. Like 15, I think. Here's my Power Here's Sack. Here's my Power Sack. And, uh. That's what started it, baby. I really want to know what a Power Sack is. I wonder what. Look it up. The Power Sack. Jim Stick 61134. What the fuck does that mean? It looks like a. <laughs> A workout thing, but it's oh, just, okay. it's just like a bag with handles on it. Oh, okay. And it's called the power, the power sack. sack. <laughs> oh, this looks more our speed. This is called uh, the Shira Sky Shira. Power Sack Drawstring Bag. Ah, oh, Shira. It's Hell like yeah. a lady on no. a. Wait, it's Shira. You know, do you know what Shira is? She's right here on the power sack. Yeah, but do you know who she is? Like the the female counterpoint to Ra? No, <laughs> not oh. the sun. Not the Egyptian not the sun, sun god. god. Um, yeah. No, she was made as like the female counterpart, um, or like female equivalent of He Man. Oh shit, really? Yeah. That's hilarious. Well, that's pretty cool. You all you all cozy over there? I'm pretty I'm pretty dang cozy, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I don't know why we had the like, for some reason it didn't occur to I us. I was like I need to sit right next to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had like a whole a whole setup. Where usually we're just like on the couch next to each other. Oh but this oh, I'm outside. <laughs> oh, this is a huge fucking couch, and we're we're now using it to its yeah, full we're all, ability. Yeah, we're we're using the whole thing, and it's nice. <laughs> it's nice. Oh, uh, I want to get up there. Get up Use there. your boots, Blinky. Blinky boy. <laughs> you gotta use your boots, boy. Do you think they they looked at other names for Link before they settled on Link? Ah, uh, yeah, they had to have. Do you, do you think they ever brought up Lonk? <laughs> like, was that ever a legitimate thing, you think? No, I don't think so. It's just one letter, man. Maybe Lonk. they Maybe they were thinking about it. But possibly. I don't know why they- why did they name him, uh, Link, though? Cause Kirby, you know, is from the... It was like their lawyer or something. Like, Nintendo's lawyer. Uh, no. It was someone they knew. It was- Named Kirby. I forget who it was, but I think Mario was like their landlord or something. Yeah. I I'm pretty I'm I I think that's correct. But Kirby, I if I if I'm not mistaken, um they they picked it because uh his name was something over in Japan. Mm -hmm. And they had a different name for him that they were gonna bring him over to the West with. And Nintendo America... I don't know if it was Nintendo America or something at the time, but they were like, that is really abrasive. Here's a list of names... Oh. Um, to, uh, to pick from. And they were like, oh, Kirby. That's I, fun. That's I nice. thought they, like, named it after a guy. It a name someone has been named after one of the Nintendo lawyers, but I forget which one. It might be Kirby. That might be why his name was on the list. I don't know though. Kirby was named after an American lawyer. Oh, it is him. Uh, uh, Shigeru 
John Kirby, who John Kirby. was represented. Oh, because uh, of the he was in the Donkey Kong trial. Yeah. With Universal. That's yep. right. Yep, yep. Let's look at Link. Oh, okay. Link was just named Link because he like thinks the Triforce and shit. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah. But uh, I'm gonna look up Mario, but I'm pretty sure he's like a landlord. Yeah. He was um, Yamauchi's. Yep. Right? Yamauchi yeah. was the one that started. Uh, Nintendo? I think so? Mario Seagal. Mario Seagal? Seagal? Is he alive? No, he died. Uh, oh, he died last year! Oh, no! Two years ago now. October 27th, 2018. M Mario donated $90,000 to Democratic Party candidates between 2000 and 2007. Wow! Like the character? <laughs> <laughs> Mario was getting political all of a sudden. He died from unspecific causes. Oh, poor Mario. Probably just old age. Yeah. Pretty tight, way. Really. For Mario to go? Yeah, Mario. He died as an 84 year old man. Damn, dude. That was a long life, man. It's pretty intense. Alright, let's get you out of here, sir. Oh, my God. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. I was right there, my dude. You're fucking flailing Shiro out. the carpenter okay. for rescuing me. I'll tell you something interesting about the desert that I overheard the Grudos talking about. They said sometimes in they order scooch. to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need to. Sometimes they don't wipe. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was gonna say, sometimes they take the sand up their cooter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What are they, what, do they poop? The Gerudo don't poop! The Gerudo don't poop! <laughs> they don't poop, they have no waste! <laughs> Where does it all go? Where does it go? No one knows! They have no butthole! <laughs> they don't have buttholes, I wanna just... Oh. Yeah, never in this game did you want, did Link ever go, Oh, gotta pee. <laughs> like, oh, uh, gotta pee. Gotta pee, hold on guys, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, does he eat even? I don't know if he eats. He drinks. Oh, he drinks. He drinks like a mother. He goes, bye! <laughs> He's out. That's What's happy. gonna prevent them from getting caught again? Yeah, it's not Link's problem, man. <laughs> yeah, right? Noboru is the second in command of the Great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo Thieves. He's a Gerudo. He has His a headquarters, dick. Her headquarters are in this space. <laughs> The Great Ganondorf, the King of Thieves. The one with the... ...sizable penis. <laughs> the one with the penis. He just like, he just like, pays all of his guards to like... The sizable penis. To like, Ganondorf. talk about how big his dick is. He's just like, Okay guys, I got... I got some, I got some rupees here for you. You guys can distribute them evenly, but... He just, I, I bought my dick. <laughs> like, can you guys like... Toast my dick. You toast my dick. <laughs> Just like give me some compliments. Okay, so this is my Gerudo badge, my membership card. So now I can walk around the uh, the fortress without uh, getting caught. Honestly, that was such a better idea to make Link dress up as a girl. Oh yeah, in Breath of the Wild. In Breath of the Wild, it's so great. And that was the way I found out the fucking Gorons are genderless. Oh, really? Because, yeah, because there's a Goron in, um... Oh, yeah, he's just hanging out. He's just hanging out there. Do they specifically have a thing against guys, then? Because, like... I mean, it's an all-female race. But, they don't have... As long as you don't have a penis, seems you're allowed in. If the Goron is in there. Because it's not a female. You don't got a penis. But you don't got a penis. That's, uh, that's what I'm guessing. Man, they're, they're, they're... They got a thing against dick. <laughs> I still can't get over they our dick. They discriminate. <laughs> Discrimination. When you finally learn how to ride a horse, you should come back and try it. It's a dangerous sport, but it's fun. Oh, I gotta talk to her while I'm on Epona. Just to prove to her that I know how to climb <laughs> ride a horse. I mean, I get the... Dude, riding a horse is fucking scary. I don't think I could get on a horse right now. Yeah. Like, I think I rode a horse, like, once. At, like, a party. I've never ridden a horse. They're scary, dude. They're- dude, okay, I got... 
They're beefcakes. I got a little bit too close to a horse last uh, Thanksgiving. Like, it was just, like, a little bit too close for my own comfort. Like, there was nothing wrong with me being that close, but, like, I was, like, <laughs> uh, I I pet a horse recently, but that was, like, a petting zoo horse. They're very nice. I mean, yeah, they're fucking smart. They're pretty smart. You just don't, like, fuck with it. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna punch a horse, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> God. Right in the fucking nose. <laughs> oh, poor horse. You get fucked oh up, my man. God. Now we're gonna go make our way to the uh, to the spirit temple. Hell yeah. Hey, Rookie, are you going into the desert? Yeah, I'll open the gate for you. But, you can't cross the desert unless you pass the two trials. God damn the first it. trial is the River of Sand. You can't walk across this river. After you cross, follow the flags we place there. Okay. Second trial is the Phantom Guide. Yeah, Alright. Those without eyes that can see the truth will only... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> You're going anyway, aren't you? I won't stop you. Go ahead. Thanks. Oh, you're laughing at me? Are you laughing? I'm gonna punch you square in the mouth! You don't trust us. You don't believe we're the one. I don't... I don't even believe that we're the one. I, I mean, uh... <laughs> I mean, we got, we're some guy. Alright, here we go. We're going into the desert. Where's the temple? It's... it's this way. Oh, jeez. Oh, Look God. We slend. Oh, God. So, we didn't, uh, forget anything that... We have to, like, go be Big Link or something. No. We have to be Big Link for this, and then we have to be, uh, Child Link for... Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Okay. See? Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I'm a... I'm a dumb. I'm an idiot. Why? You know. Oh, I see. See what I mean? I'm just being dumb. Did I just come from this way? Nope. Nope. Oh, I do need. To, I do need to be over here. A magician, man. Just made that appear out of nowhere. Ah, Skulltula. It's like I thought that was a fish. <laughs> Up on the wall. Yeah. Oh, a fairy. Oh fuck yeah, dude. I can tell you. Get the fairy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! So, do we even need the blue anymore, or are we just wearing it? No, we're just wearing it. We can either wear the red, yellow, or blue, or red, yellow, do they do red, anything? green, or blue. Do they do anything anymore? No. That's weird. What one do you want to wear? Let's rock with a red for a while. Let's rock red. So... Oh, we got another one! How many go? more of those do we need for another... Upgrade. I think we need to get to 50. Oh my god, yeah. that's not happening, man. No, it's... And that, but that, that up, that updates us to like 500, I think. Eh, right. yeah, we'll, we'll enjoy 200. I'm cool with 200, I'm not gonna, I, I finished with 200 in the last one. The desert. That is where Ganondorf the what Evil King was born. If we go there, what the fuck? <laughs> What are you talking about? We're already there! What? You dumbass? There it is, the Desert Colossus. Holy shit. It's just a giant cake. Is it technically the temple, though? That is the temple. The temple is the Desert Colossus? Yes. Holy shit. So we need to go- we need to go into the Desert Colossus. For what? Let's see. Okay. What are these green goobers? Uh, the, the sand, I forget what they're called. The, they're, I mean, they were in the first Zelda game. Oh, oh, You know, yeah. you know those things? Yeah. yeah. I know them from Link to the Past, I think. Yeah, they were in Link to the Past as well. Alright, well, we're in the Spirit Temple now. Spirit, motherfuck, oh my god. Um, but, uh. What? 
can't fit in that. Touch the dick. Touch the, the baby. What the fuck are you doing? Oh man, dude. Can't move anything. Do I have to be baby? Wait, fuck. I think I have to be baby. Nah, I'm joshing you, dude. It's a cutscene. We're supposed to meet Sheik outside. Oh man, you <laughs> joshed me already. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do a new voice for him. Past, present, future. The Master Sword is a ship with which you can sail upstream and downstream throughout Time's River. Oh. The port for that ship is in the Temple of Time. Are you liking all of these boat references? You like these analogies? <laughs> you liking all of these water analogies? To restore the, I almost called it the Desert Colossus. <laughs> to restore the Desert Colossus and enter the Spirit Temple, you must travel back through time's flow. Listen yeah. to this requiem of spirit. This melody will lead a child back to the desert. Um. So basically, what we have to do is we have to go back, become an adult. Can nope. I become a child. Time? We have to become a child, and then um come back here but we have that requiem of spirits so we can just come back here immediately oh you so know it's a little bit of a teleporter it is kind of it is a teleporter basically it'll, it'll fix it'll save us some time yeah okay everybody well Fucking i guess we'll, we'll temple time next time well at, at least spirit temple part one next time well yeah, that's what I meant. It's the yeah. temple time. Yeah, well, because, I mean, you need to go through it as child link and then get the fucking cuffs and then you go through back through it as adult link, but it's different. It's on the other side. It's cool. I'll, I'll walk you through it. Oh, that's crazy. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, goodbye. Bye. Uh, <laughs> a quiz, a quiz, a quiz, if you will.